Let me give you one last type of view that I want you to sort of know about. And we actually created one a little while ago, and that's a schedule view. So it's just the tabular side of this. And what we'll do is let's create a schedule of the windows, for example, because one thing I asked you to do in the assignment was create a window schedule that will actually tabulate the glazing area. Okay, so let's talk about how we could do that, and we'll finish on that before the break. And how that's going to work is we'll go to the uh, View tab and say, let's create a new schedule. And we're going to create a schedule of the windows. So go ahead and just choose that as your type. Then we'll take a look. Actually, let me do that slowly, because I know I go by too quickly. Let's say Schedule and Quantities. We're going to do a window schedule as the type of object we're going to schedule. Now, in terms of the different fields that we want to get here, it'd be nice to get, oh, we can get the, like, the type. That'll sort of give us a, like, a textual description of what the type of the window was. We could also go ahead and get the mark. The mark is the individual ID. But what I really want to get is this whole notion of the width and the height of the window, because that's going to be helpful for me for the glazing area. So I can go to the width, and I can go to the height. Okay, and let me just say OK to that for now. So these are all the windows that are in my little house for right now, and we have the width and the height. Okay, so let's talk about how we can get glazing area out of this. Yes? Okay, no worries. For what you can do, oh, well, it's, uh, there's just no type IDs in there right now. That's interesting. Do you have funny types? Like, do you have windows that are like round or? No, I don't know. We'd have to look at it in terms of sort of what's a little bit different. There's something about that type field. Try expanding the column or something. There's something about that type field that's a little strange. Actually, Luis, maybe you can see if you can help out. Okay. Let's talk about how we can compute the glazing area, because the glazing area isn't one of the fields that we have available to us. In fact, if I go to the schedules and go to the window schedule, I can edit its properties. I can right click on that and say properties and go to the fields. See, glazing area isn't actually one of the fields that's available to us right now. So how can we use the width and the height to compute the glazing area? Okay, we could just multiply those two things together, and that'll get us pretty close. Let's take a look at what that looks like, because this is what you'll need to do for the assignment. Okay, start with, again, you take the window schedule, and you already have a window schedule sort of set up in most of the projects. I'm going to right-click on that and choose Properties. And then under that, I can choose the fields. And what I want to do is I want to put another field here, but it won't be one of the available fields. We're going to calculate a value. So go ahead and choose Calculated Value as opposed to one of the existing fields. When we choose calculated value, we're going to say, well, what is it going to be? It's going to be in the common discipline as opposed to structural or mechanical. We're going to actually compute something that's an area. Okay? And it's going to be equal to, and you don't have to put the equal in there, it's just height <coughs> times width. Okay, so you have to use the field names. Okay, and it doesn't give you much help in terms of the different field names that you have available to choose. Actually, let me even go and put a name on that. I skipped right past that part because we do need a name. That's going to be the glazing area. So let's see if we can get that. Just glazing area is height times width. Okay, looking pretty good there. If you're looking pretty good there, say OK. And you'll see glazing area shows up in the list of schedule fields. Okay, now let's go one step further. You've got the glazing area theoretically for every individual window. What if we actually wanted to sum up the glazing area for all the different windows and have a subtotal at the bottom of your table? Okay, and how you would do that is as follows. Okay, we've done the sort of basically computing of the glazing area. We switch over to the sorting and grouping. And here's where I could put, I could either sort of subsort it or I could just put a grand total in there if I just want the total for the entire project. So you can click on grand total. It'll put a grand total line at the bottom of the table. Okay. So far, so good. We've got individual items. We've got a grand total. We only need one more thing, and that's to say, of all of these columns, which things should I total? Okay, and to do that, we go over to the formatting tab. And I wish these weren't on three different tabs, but they are. 
So we'll work with it. We'll choose glazing area, and we can choose calculate the totals. Okay. So calculated value, put a grand total on it, and then finally go through and say that glazing area is the thing I want to total. <coughs> when you get all those things done, you can say OK. OK. And with any luck, you'll see that you have a glazing area, and I have 339 square feet for this bigger house. You probably have a lot less than that. Okay, but we're, that's how we basically use a table to go through and calculate a quantity like this. Okay, so let's stop there for a second. And how are people doing in terms of getting a basic glazing area? You doing pretty good? Okay, let's talk nuance then one step further. Okay, you might notice that the amount of glass on the surface isn't the full width. Of the, you know, there's a little bit of frame. And honestly, when we're actually going through and doing our energy calcs, that adds up to be a big difference. You want to sort of pull in and give yourself credit for the part that's going to be solid as opposed to the part that's, be glazed, that's fully glazed, because that'll really add up in, to a lot more glazing than you really have. So how would we do that? Let's open that window schedule once again. I'll say Properties. And I'll choose the Fields. And we're going to go back and look at that glazing area field, maybe get a little finer about what's going on here. Okay, Since I've already created the glazing area field, I don't need to say calculated value. I've already calculated it. What I need to do is go down here and edit it. Okay, So just say edit it. That's how we can kind of keep on tweaking and refining. And I'm very incremental. I'll create an initial cut at it. And if I get that to work, then I'll go back and try to get a little finer about the whole thing. So how about this? And we can define just all sorts of elaborate formulas, but a simple way is say, you know, if there's about four inches of framing on the height side and maybe four inches of framing on the width side, and again, we can we construct a much more elaborate formula where we actually go through and enter in the amount of framing on the different sides and get quite precise about this. But that's a pretty good rough approximation. We can say OK to those. Just again, constructing a simple formula where I'm putting the four inches in there because I want it to understand it's not four feet. It's actually, you know, I'm giving it the units. Say OK. Say OK. And OK yet again. And actually, interestingly, check that out. I went from 339 square feet to 295 square feet. So that was a, that's a whole lot of framing or something like that, not to penalize myself with. OK, so that's the example of the type of calculation we want you to do in your uh, window schedule. Let's go through, get the glazing area, get a little refined about it. But at the end, you want to have a table that looks something like this that just has the glazing area and total it up there. That sort of makes sense? Yes? <laughs> Curtain walls are not included in there. We have to sort of tally them up a little bit differently. Where we get them is actually if you do a schedule of the curtain panels as a type, that'll get to the area of those. And then we can sort of put the two side by side and sort of include them both. OK? Let us go ahead and break for now, if we can. Go ahead and uh, stand up and stretch if you want to. And what's going to happen during the next part of the hour, basically, the TAs are going to be here. We're just going to be here to answer questions and stuff like that about your projects. But hopefully, that's enough to get you going through, I think, all the essential pieces of the assignment. Are there any sort of like last questions about the assignment? Or should we, you know, we can take them individually. But any sort of overall questions about what's going on? And the idea is just to sort of get those views, get them annotated and on the sheets, and really on sheets that'll be submitted as DWFs by Thursday night at midnight. Does that sort of make sense? Beauty. OK, if you, um, yeah, stick around and ask, or go off and do something else if you need to for now. Um, we should be around. I think Demi is going to set up something else for tonight. We'll have something posted, especially for our Mac people. We're going to try and do something to get things installed for them. But again, Wednesday night and Thursday night, we got office hours galore. So go ahead and uh, take advantage of that, and we'll handhold you through the last steps. Okay. Thank you.